Welcome to Two Minute Excel Tutorials, helping you learn to do something in Excel in about two minutes. I'm going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations in Excel. I'll use the matrix inversion method. I made up three equations for three unknowns, x, y, and z. We want to solve these equations simultaneously. Here's the procedure. First you fill in any zeros as necessary. Here there was no coefficient for z, so I added a zero here. These three equations can now easily be rearranged into matrix form. This 3x3 three three matrix times the vector x, y, z equal the right hand side, which we'll call b. All of this is done on a piece of paper first. Now in Excel we enter these coefficients as an array. This part isn't necessary, I'm just showing it for illustrative purposes. All we need is this matrix A, which here is a 3x3 three three matrix corresponding to these cells, and then vector b which corresponds to these cells. When you do matrix algebra on ax equal b, the solution is a to the negative 1 b, where a to the negative 1 is the inverse of matrix a. The next step is to go into a new cell and calculate the inverse of this matrix. I did it here beforehand, but I'll also do it again. I'll pick this cell and type equal m inverse, and then the array is these nine cells of matrix a. I highlight all of them and close parentheses and enter. Excel is smart enough to fill that in for all nine cells. I got it. Every one of these has the same equation as you see here, and this array is the same as the one I did beforehand. Step four is to find the solution. Vector x, y, z is a to the negative one times b. I did it two ways. The first way is to do the matrix multiplication by hand. If I click up here, I can see the cells I used in the equation. It's this times this plus this times this plus this times this. I put dollar signs on these b values so that they don't change when I fill down. These are my answers for x, y, and z. Another method is to use Excel's sum product function. It does the same algebra that I did here for matrices. The only problem is it doesn't work with a vertical array like this. So first I transpose that into a horizontal array. Here's the function equals sum product. C31 to E31 are these cells, and then D43 to F43 are these horizontal B cells. Again, notice I put the dollar signs there so I can fill down. You can see that I get the same answer either way. Step five is to verify. It's always a good idea to verify your answers. I went back to the original equations and just plug them in. You can see here I have 2 times x plus 3.5 times y plus 4.3 times z. That's this first equation. If all went well, that should equal 2.2, which it does. I did the same for the second and third equations. They also agree. This works for any array size, not just 3 by 3s, as long as the matrix is invertible. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching this video. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos.